Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and in this lecture we are going to solve this problem. Vishu and his girlfriend, they come from Hagarad. So this problem utilizes the concept that we have studied in the previous lecture, that is how to how to calculate single source shortest path using DFS on a tree. So if you haven't seen that video, just go and check out that. So in this problem we are given n countries numbered one through n and n minus one roads. So if there are n nodes and n minus one edges, and if it forms a single connected component, then it is a tree. Although it is already told here that it's a tree. So there are n nodes and n minus one edges, and it is given uh, the given graph is a tree. So Bishu lives in country one, and there are Q girls which have proposed to him, and he have to choose a single girl. So he the criteria for him to choose a girl is that. He would choose the girl that lives at a minimum distance from his city. So there are four girls which lives in city three, four, five, and six, and he would choose that girl which lives at the minimum distance from Bishu's city. And uh, if there are many girls having the same distance from Bishu's city, then he would choose the girl which lives in the uh, minimum, which is having the minimum country ID. So we have to choose the uh, we have to print the country code uh, ID of the country of the girl who is accepted by Bishu. So the input is this. There are and uh, there is n that is number of cities and then uh, it is followed by n minus one edges. So there are six cities, five edges and then Q that indicates number of girls and this is the city in which the girl lives. So we have to print the number of the city which is. Uh, the uh, the ID number of city which is accepted by Bishu. So for this input, the graph so looks something like this. So one is connected to two, one is connected to three, and one is connected to four. As you can see, one is connected to two, three, and four, and then two is connected to five and six. And the green colored num uh, uh, the green colored cities are the cities in which girls live. As we can see here, three, four, five, and six. Now five and six are at distance two from city 1 and since Bishu lives in city 1 and they are at distance 2 while 3 and 4 are at distance 1 so he would choose a girl from either from 3 or 4 but since 3 is having the minimum uh, ID number of the city that is why he would choose girl living in the city 3 that is why the output is 3 so let's see how we can solve this to solve this first of all we would what we would do we would take the source vertex as node 1 because Bishu lives in node 1 and then would calculate the distance of each and every city and then uh, we would see uh, which girls live in the which which girls is the which girl is nearest to the source vertex that is Bishu city so let's solve this problem Hmm, this should be good so if you are working in c++ you, you can define these uh, uh, preprocessor directives i use pb for pushback and bi for vector in so i can define the adjacency list like this uh, since there are thousand cities so i'm taking an adjacency list of thousand and then in array for visited array and then distance array to store the distance of each city and number of nodes q number of girls a and b to read edges i think this is done so after reading n we would read n minus 1 edges that is a and then b since a is connected to b and b is connected to a and you already know how we do it so in the adjacency list of a we insert b pb is for pushback and in the adjacency list of b we add a so this is how uh, this is how we create the adjacency list representation of the graph and after that let's calculate the Uh, apply triple sp that is single source shortest path starting from node one since the uh, source vertex is one hence its distance is zero and i have already told you how we do this and how it works so let's just apply 
so first input is no first parameter is node and the second parameter is uh, distance let's say t so as soon as you reach any node you, what you do is you make that node as visit visible or oh, sorry uh, visited and then you also set its distance of current node to be equal to t now in the adjacency list of current node we will traverse the adjacency list of current node and if the current child is not visited visited of child since visited array is int so it would be zero so if the child is not visited then we would make a dfs call to this child passing its distance as distance of current node plus one this is done so this is triple sp that is single source shortest path and i have already explained how this works in the previous video so if something is going over your head just go and check out that video so after applying triple sp that is uh, single source shortest path we we are having distance of each node starting from the source vertex that is bishu city so just let's input the number of curls and so in curl city so each time we'll be given the girl city and let's take two int variables answer initially and then the minimum city uh, minimum distance infinity i have already defined inf to be a stands for nine i guess fine for nine yes so initially i have defined minimum distance to be infinity and the answer to be minus one so if the distance of current city that is girl city the input city if this girl the distance of this curl city is less than the current distance that we have the current minimum then of course minimum distance this curl lives nearer to Bishu that is why minimum distance would be distance of current curl city curl city and then answer would be this L if distance of this girl city is equals to the minimum distance and if it is equal to distance that is if there if there are multiple girls having the same minimum distance then we have to check for the minimum uh, city ID so in that case if this girl city there is the the girl city is actually the city ID is less than the answer then answer is equals to girl city and finally we will print the answer so this is how we solve it and let's just let's erase this and check whether oh, i'm sure i'll get oh so as you can see expected output is 3 and our output is 3 as well so let's just submit it and here you can see yep you have got accepted so this is how you solve this problem so let's just rewind it or revise it so we have to edit, we have taken input as n the number of cities and then n minus 1 edges we have uh, taken input the edges as a and b and then in the adjacency list of a we have uh, inserted b and in the adjacency list of b we have inserted a and then to calculate the triple sp uh, we have made a dfs call to node 1 which is the source vertex and the distance of it is 0 and in the dfs of course as soon as you land on any vertex or node you set it as visited and uh, set its distance as d which is passed in the parameter and after that you traverse in the adjacency list of that node and if the child is not visited you make a dfs call to that and uh, pass the distance as current node distance plus one and after that we are just taking input the city number and if we are checking whether this the distance of this city is less than uh, the the distance of current answer if that's so then we are uh, rewriting the minimum distance as distance of current city and answer as 
uh, the current city and if the distance is equal then we are checking whether this city id is less than the answer if so then answer would be updated to this city id and hence finally we are printing the answer so this is how you solve this problem and i'll be uh, giving the link of this question in the description and try to solve it yourself i hope you have learned something from it so thank you for watching and yep, keep coding thank you